Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Uh, so, I haven't been uh, very good at publishing videos lately. I know I haven't been, I've been kind of behind on all of that stuff. Uh, editing my videos and uh, putting it out there for you guys. Uh, sorry about that. It's just that <laughs> just been very busy at work. Uh, that's kind of been um, putting the editing, the video editing to the side for now and just focusing on uh, the primary career that I have. I know it's been, what, two weeks since I published the other video on how Jason got started. And so I'm hoping that today uh, we'll get to talk about how we get motivated or how we motivate ourselves to uh, to train and to continue riding outside. So some of you may know this that we do one outdoor ride per week and it's just because you know we have uh, jobs, we have a career uh, on the weekdays that we focus on and so we do a lot of our indoor workouts on the weekdays and we just take time on Sunday to do a long ride and so um, that has kind of worked out for us uh, the past year that we've been riding and uh, one day a week has kind of worked out. I, as you guys know, I did get a mountain bike um, and that was over the summer. I wanted to ride an extra day over the weekend. When I got the mountain bike, I had in my mind that I'm just going to go on the trails and ride on the Saturdays, an easy ride on the trails, just to kind of clear my mind and just kind of enjoy nature that way. Uh, but I haven't been riding the mountain bike. Um, the trails do get kind of slushy and muddy and it's cold and so I just kind of ease off on the the mountain biking uh, for now until when it gets warmer again but uh, yeah just focusing on just doing uh, just riding the road bike and so I think what really helps to motivate me uh, one of the few things that I'll talk about is just having something new to look forward to and uh, that really kind of helps me to kind of clear my mind doing different things. Good morning. It's a uh, Sunday, so that means we're doing a, uh, a longer ride today. Fortunately, we get to ride outside. And it's actually warmer than we thought it would be. Um, I'm guessing it's in the 50s Fahrenheit maybe right now it's we, we thought it was um, it was gonna be cloudy all day but currently it's sunny so um, I'm not sure if we're we might be overdressed a little bit um, a couple weeks ago we went on a on a ride and uh, it was supposed to be similar temperature but we ended up feeling cold the whole time and um, so this time we dressed pretty much the same way that we did last time and uh, now it's feeling like it might be too warm so um, Joy went back inside to, to change. I think I'm pretty much just gonna go with what I got um, and I'll just shed some layers. Uh, we're doing a a new route today going to into Roxbury, Connecticut. It's supposed to be around 38 miles with 4,000 feet of climbing so it's a it's a decent amount of climbing uh, Roxbury is pretty hilly I remember the last few times that we went there it was a lot of climbing so um, should be fun so that's the thing with the changing temperatures here in Connecticut is that we don't really know exactly how to dress in these different conditions because you never know if it's gonna get cloudy and it's gonna get cold so we'll see how it is today so guys I was uh, talking about motivation this morning while I was getting ready let's hear from Jason how he uh, motivates himself to work out I always just feel better after I work out. I just feel like I got something accomplished. And um, it just makes me feel good for the rest of the day. I actually don't feel great. On my off days, I actually don't feel great. On my, my off days, I feel kind of sluggish. And uh, working out just invigorates me. And um, 
it just makes me feel better the rest of the day. So I always just remember that, you know, before if I get up one day on a on a workout day and I'm not feeling that great, I just remember the fact that I'm gonna feel better after I do this workout. things that um, helps to motivate me is that um, just riding through new routes I love exploring through different parts of Connecticut and seeing what unexplored roads look like on a bike and so I just uh, that really that's what gets me going that it kind of excites me when I wake up in the morning knowing that we have new roads to explore so today for example uh, I've driven through these roads before uh, when I went mountain biking in the Wal in Waldo State Park, but we are going to be riding there and it's really pretty because we have the um, Lake Zor and uh, yeah, that's a nice beautiful spot to kind of ride through. I know I've probably said this several times before, but just spending time with Joy, uh, this is our our favorite hobby that we do together and it's um, ever since we started riding together we've we've been spending a lot of time together especially on the weekends and uh, I always look forward to that so I I look forward to this Sunday ride that we do every every week I look forward to it throughout the week it, it keeps me me motivated throughout the week to you know to get back to the next Sunday so I can do it again and like Joy was just saying we get to explore uh, some areas that we've been by car before but not uh you know not by bike and it's just fun to you know to ride through some of these um these routes that we used to think were were pretty far from home but they're really not that far uh, when you just get out and, and and explore it and give it a try so yeah i also like the exploration aspect of it of riding outside and again the ability for us to, to spend quality time together and, you know, being active, which we both like. Oh, and by the way, it's, uh, it's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day today. I was saying before we, uh, we started riding that um, I was going to shed some layers and, uh, or thinking about it, and I ended up doing that, and very glad I did because we've already hit a decent amount of climbing uh, at this first pit stop and um, I started sweating on those climbs so yeah it's it's actually um, very warm for this time of the year uh, so it's it's turning out to be a nice day and really looking forward to the rest of this ride. maple syrup.
because like I said earlier today that I like to do th something something new just to kind of change up my routine and lately I have been taking up running and I got this training plan from Runner's World is like a free training plan they have on their website and it's a run walk uh, training plan I'm not doing the walking portion of it so instead what I'm doing is I'm doing my hard efforts uh, and then I'm, I'm my, my easy recovery efforts are just a slow jog so I'm not actually walking but yeah that's been actually keeping me actually I've kind of like revitalized my whole running uh, thing that I did a couple of years ago and so I'm actually starting to do that and I actually look forward to my workouts now because I, I'm doing uh, sometimes I'll be doing a vo2 max efforts and then I do a run afterwards but it's not a it's not a really heavy intense run so um, that's really been what helped me to kind of keep going uh, and keep doing this. I like following a structured training plan and, um, you know, doing workouts that are already designed by a coach and that are proven to be effective for whatever your fitness goal is, whether it's increasing endurance, uh, increasing, you know, your ability to do longer rides or to just to increase your power, things like that. I've had, I think, some decent success so far in my uh, short cycling career by following structured plans. And I like the way that the plans uh, progress throughout the weeks and months. Having, having the plan all laid out for you in advance um, gives me motivation also because it gives me a schedule and um, like a goal to complete uh, each day or each week. So, you know, you have your long-term goal that you're, you're training for, but then you can break that down at a more micro level into, you know, months, weeks, or even days. And, you know, I feel a sense of accomplishment every time I complete a workout. Then I feel another even greater accomplishment when I complete a week, you know, completing a month and then completing, you know, the whole thing. And it motivates me to, to keep going and even if the workouts get hard, um, knowing that if I just stick it through to the end, I'll likely see good results. And once I start doing something and and commit to it, I, I don't like to, to stop until it's finished. So once I commit to a, decide on what training plan I want to do and then commit to it, I find it pretty easy to, to keep going because I, I have that end goal in mind. just got home now and just taking the dogs out as they're probably pretty antsy when we're out when we're gone for several hours come on Maggie so it turned out to be a really nice day it was actually pretty cloudy when we were riding back home and I thought it was already like four o'clock but it turns out to be uh, only it's only an, almost two o'clock and so, yeah, it turned out to be a really nice day, actually. Now the sun is out. Dogs stay in for, they're usually pretty good. They're French Bulldogs, so uh, they can handle four hours without doing anything. All they do is pretty much sleep all day. But this was a really nice ride today. Uh, like I said, it was a new route. And again, that was really nice to be able to see different roads and exploring.
you can you know plan out a route but you never really know exactly how things are going to go until you get out there and do it and you don't know exactly how you're going to feel and some days you feel better than others but you never know when you're going to feel great and we both felt pretty good today and it was um you know unusually warm which was helped a lot the whole ride was just fun from start to finish and you know our bodies felt good and so that's a motivator for next week uh, when hopefully we get to ride outside again that was a great ride uh just 40 miles with almost 4,000 feet of climbing every part of that route was climbing there were downhills and yeah and it's knowing that you can actually get through these routes the, these roads that we've ridden through already some of them are super steep like Jason just uh, PR'd again, Elbow Hill. He PR'd it last, two, two weeks ago, and he PR'd it again today. And um, it's a short segment, um, but yeah, I guess that's his motivator is knowing that these segments on Strava, you know, loves to, he loves to PR these segments and uh, I'm just trailing behind him. So I forgot to mention the very last thing that I believe is what helps to motivate me um, in my rides is just the feeling that you get after you do the ride. It's kind of like a runner's high, kind of like it's exhilarating that you've accomplished something, that kind of feeling. Um, it's very similar to riding. Like today, um, coming home, I, was, I just felt really good and I just felt energized and um, I'm tired, but I'm also, it's weird because and my body's tired, but I feel mentally energized from it all. And so I think that, uh, you know, when you guys, if you ever get into cycling and if you're wondering, you know, whatever it is that you, um, whatever is your motivator, you know, it could be losing weight or it could just be getting outside because you're cooped up inside with all these lockdowns, uh, whatever your reason may be, just make a habit out of it because, once you make a habit out of it, you work out at the same time, you go for your rides on the same day in the same time. And uh, it does feel good to accomplish something like that. And when you start to feel bored with it is when I think that you should venture out and try something else new. Like if you are riding around in your neighborhood and you're bored with that, let's say you've done it for a month, maybe venture out outside of your neighborhood um, and try other roads. And, you know, after that, when you get bored of riding around all the different parts of the roads, maybe use your phone as, uh, and then turn on Strava or whatever, uh, app that you use to track your rides, being able to see your progression over time definitely helps to, you know, give you that boost. Yeah. That's all I really wanted to, to say at the very end here. And um, I think that, um, you know, during this time of the year, people are looking back at 2020 and they feel kind of like, you know, nothing good came out of 2020. But I think that if you want to start with cycling or if you already are cycling um, and if you are kind of in this, you know, lull where you just don't feel great anymore with riding um, kind of try some of the things that we've mentioned before and hopefully that helps. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you had a, oh, by the way, <laughs> sorry we missed this, but uh, happy belated Thanksgiving. And if we don't get a chance to publish anything before Christmas, then I hope you have a very Merry Christmas or happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, whatever it is. I do hope that you take the time during the holidays to just spend it with your family and eat lots of food and just think about some of the changes or what changes you're going to make uh, moving forward to get in that track of maybe staying healthy or getting to cycling. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.